Win more games by mixing up your coverage on your base splits. That's coming up next. Hey, this is Prometheus, the only YouTube that shows you uh, full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button below in the notification icon so you can actually get the updates when I upload my daily content, the different tips and strategies to take your game to the next level. This is part four of a four-part series of the Big Dime 236 defense, and this is what I refer to as my show two defense. Um, it is a, a fairly effective defense. And it shows you a root base blitz out of the prowl slant three seam, which actually carries over to a couple different plays. So one of the base plays I'm going to be calling a lot is going to be the under smoke two, uh, so I can get that pressure off the edge. It's got a very easy way to uh, set that pressure up, and I also have uh, an audible I can jump in, up to into with the same type of blitz pressure setup, the silver shoot pinch. Now what's great about this particular play, uh, this this formation is you also have a cover nine show two is one of the base plays that you can pick. You've got quarters defense on the back side, and then you actually have, uh, you've got basically a cover two shell on the other side. That's going to be very hard for your opponent to read. Another way you can attack your opponent is basically with cover six, and then you have uh, cover three buzz show two is another way to attack your opponent. So let's just go ahead and show you how we can use these defenses uh, to attack our opponent. We're going to use the cover nine show two as one of our base defenses. I'm going to go ahead and run it against just just regular, regular reads for my, for my opponent to go and take a look at, and then we're going to show you how I can get that blitz set up too with this, with this defense. All right, so uh, with this particular defense, what basically what I would do is just bring this guy down uh, and just put another guy in the box. Uh, and you can go ahead and you want to give your opponent kind of the same look as before. Just shift your defensive line over and you might want to go ahead and press these guys down um, and just make your reads from there. Uh, another thing you could do is just go ahead and put clawed flats out here by, sh by uh, shading or shading your defense, uh, your, your coverage down and then shading back up to put, uh, put cloud coverage. That way you got guys out there that go ahead and play the clouds. Uh, but now basically what it's going to do is it's going to force your opponent to make some reads where they're anticipating a lot of pressure. Now, uh, once again, we can go ahead and set up the same blitz. This time, we have to go ahead and manually go ahead and adjust uh, that guy. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy down to the box, uh, and, and basically, we've got the blitz set up. A, let's see what type of pressure we get off of this. So you can see right here the pressure comes screaming in. So it is very easy blitz to set up, and I've got basically a different type of shell on the back side of it. Uh, that's what's cool about it is that you've got that easy blitz that you can set up. It's and if your opponent's not blocking a running back, uh, basically he's going to be he's going to be screwed. He's going to have to block a running back on this. Shade his line, identify the mic, uh, and that's why you want to go ahead and jump into a show two and just give your opponent a lot of coverage. Now you can use the cover three bu a buzz show two to get set up the same concept. Not it's just it's universal blitz you can set up with this particular play. And once again, you got this universal blitz that you can go ahead and attack your opponent with. And it looks like he got picked up right there, but you can see the defensive back actually come flying in right there uh, with this blitz. And uh, if you want to, you can just go ahead and, and, and take this blitz and just set it up a little bit differently. You just can go ahead and do coverage against your opponent, and that's actually going to throw him off a little bit because he's probably going to be used to uh, be able to make reads fairly quick. So as you can see right there, the computer got confused uh, because there was no pressure coming in. And just that quick, I've got my blitz set up. I can bring my guy down to the box. I can go ahead and play this defender right here uh, like I have been before. And that gives me basically over the middle of the field help uh, against my opponent. Uh, but it's just an easy blitz to go and jump into. Obviously, it's got holes like anything else, uh, but uh, it is uh, a fairly easy blitz to set up. Let's just do uh, underneath coverage right here and see if we can go ahead and get the blitz off. Going to play the middle of the field and hopefully that uh, the one defender uh, off the edge. Uh, it goes ahead and plays it right there. Uh, and you can see there he gets the ball out late and he still has pressure coming off the edge. So this play, you know, it really depends on what your opponent is doing against you. Uh, you can use this 
a particular blitzing concept. And if you just switch up your, your defenses, first and foremost, you're not going to give him a tell at all on, on what uh, you're going to be doing. Uh, as far as your coverage is concerned, he's not going to know uh, your reads um, on that, and that's just going to give you a, a big advantage uh, depending on what type of uh, what type of reads he's actually using against you. So uh, I can go ahead and play this guy down to the box um, and just keep my opponent guessing on what kind of uh, what type of coverage I'm going to be using. But he's going to have to take out that that blitzing guy right off the edge right there or he's going to get himself in some serious trouble uh, uh, if he doesn't go ahead and take care of that guy or I could just go ahead and uh, just leave everybody in coverage and like uh, let my opponent make the right read make the right choice uh, with the coverage so that's what's what's really cool about it is that you can definitely get someone in trouble if they're not paying attention so miss throwing ball right there because I had to get a defender in the area so guys if you like this tip go ahead and take a look at the, at the, the four part series using the same blitzing concept in multiple different plays to go ahead and attack my opponent with fast pressure off the edge uh, you've got the, the the prowl slant three seam the under smoke two also the the, uh, the the man blitz uh, which was the uh, silver inside blitz I believe uh, and then you also have uh, basically any of the show two defenses where you're just going to go ahead and take that defensive back and actually put him in there uh, that's going to be the big difference so you've got your man blitz which is going to be the silver shoot pinch uh, which is a very easy setup you can jump into that all the time if you guys are new to my channel you like these defensive tips uh, go ahead and subscribe to my, my channel you're going to see me using this in live gameplay and also, if you want to get these tips well in advance, you can go to my Patreon account. Just for a dollar, you can get all my tips well in advance uh, before I actually post on my YouTube channel. So once again, to my subscribers, I really appreciate the support. Um, uh, once again, I really uh, uh, thank you for, for watching my videos. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time.